Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Charles Onyet with IGN.com, here with IGN's Brennan Ayub. What's up? Um, and we are looking at the first footage of Battlefield 3, uh, which is going to come out this fall on PC, Xbox 360, uh, and PlayStation 3. Very um, exciting. This game is on Frostbite 2, which is an all-new engine uh, built by DICE, specifically for this game. I mean, it's been a long time since the last core Battlefield game. As you can see on the next screen, like this is actual gameplay footage that's going to be shown. Uh, it's PC version footage, um, and it's not final, uh, obviously, because the game isn't out yet. It would if it was final. Uh, so this is the story set up a little bit. So it's, it's near future, um, and this, this particular mission that's going to be shown is just a, a group of U.S. Marines in a city on the Iraqi-Iranian border. Um, this is an early mission in the game, so there's, there's nothing too advanced happening right here. Um, so you're just getting out of uh, kind of a carrier with your squad. Um, and if we can just pause right when the helicopter... Yeah, okay, so you can see a helicopter up there. There's a Humvee there with a, a mounted gun. Like, there are vehicles in the single-player campaign, but you can't just hop into one right here. So it's not just like, oh, cool, a truck. I'm going to jump into it. Like Yeah, and this is definitely... This is the first time that DICE has ever done a, like, focused single-player campaign in a core Battlefield game. Yeah, totally. And, like, they'll, they will have... Uh, specific sequences when you are to jump in a vehicle. Um, so it's not just going to be you can do it whenever you want. Um, cool. And yeah, if you look at the guy on the right, like that's just uh, being escorted by the soldier there. It's just showing that, you know, this is clearly a, a city in conflict. Possible insurgent. <laughs> yes, th things are not going well here. Um, you are walking around with a group of soldiers, but um, this is not necessarily a uh, squad-based like uh, being in a squad is not necessarily a focus of this game like it was in like the bad company spinoffs um, so in some missions you may just be on your own this just happens to be the setup for this specific mission right um, and, yeah if we can just back up to before these guys uh, break down the door um, you can see evidence of sort of the new animation system that's being used here it's called ant um, and that's from EA that was used in like the FIFA games that's sort of been adapted to DICE's first person shooter here. And it just allows for really smooth transitions between uh, different postures, like as soldiers break through the door, as they peel off the wall, as they run down the hallway. Like you don't see those jerky transitions between uh, animation sets, it's just all smooth. Um, and it, I mean, it looks really realistic. Yeah, you can see right here, even when he accelerates as he runs and goes to a full sprint, just super realistic looking, really awesome. And just an amazing uh, look at the lighting effects, the god rays coming through the alleyway right there, it looks incredible. Yeah, um, and up here, very important, there is a dog over there. Attack dogs? Yeah. So, DICE is confirmed, that dog is just a dog. Okay. It's, it's nothing crazy. Just part of the scenery, not, yeah, not a main character? It's not necessarily foreshadowing any crazy like explosion of dogs that's going to happen at some point in the game. That's just, for, <laughs> that's just for effect. And right there, too, you can see as the guy pops yeah. into cover on the door. Yeah, how he sort of bounces off it when he hits his back against it. Yeah. Just really impressive stuff, man. So as we move into this room up here, uh, we get more of a sense of sort of what uh, DICE is doing with lighting effects. If we can just stop right here. I mean, we can see the light rays coming in from uh, the window up top that's illuminating the bottom of the staircase, but not illuminating the bottom left of the screen, mm -hmm. uh, which is just, you know, it, it'll make for some really, I think, like pretty and, and most of all, realistic looking scenes. Yeah, and I mean, you can see some some fancier effects there as the lights break and, and swing around. Um, yeah, here we are sort of out in the open. So your guy, um, who is uh, Sergeant uh, Black, by the way, uh, is his name. Uh, he's carrying a M16 here with an ACOG scope. Um, you know, you can see the cool little, like, just nice detail reflection sort of in the, in the back of the lens there. Um, and here we just see more examples of, of animations uh, yeah, coming. All the debris filling the streets, man. That's yeah, really I mean, the, the environmental uh, you know, detail is is pretty impressive. Yeah, <laughs> that looks awesome. that looks real. And then as we sort of fade to black, if we just stop right here, mm -hmm. we look down in the bottom right corner, sort of the interface there. You can see sort of three little dots in the in the bottom right um, that indicates three different firing modes. Uh, so you can do single shot, you can do burst, you can do full auto with this thing. Different firing options will be available for every weapon that you happen to pick up. Uh, this one cool. also happens to have a flashlight attachment on it, uh, which you can't see right now, but it is on the gun. Oh, yeah, there we there go. So, yeah, the flashlight attachment is on there, too. You can toggle Maybe that. Some weapon customization. So, yeah, here we see a little bit of uh, sort of the, I guess, if you want to call it quick-time event system yep. uh, that's in at least the single-player 
well, if this is a single player campaign, in, the, the, in the story button. campaign, yes. Again, PC version, obviously. <laughs> um, this will not, dragging bodies like this is not going to be a feature in the multiplayer. Okay, uh, so this dice. is just a scripted event. You're not going to have to do this to get your, your friends out of Dodge. Yeah, okay. at, at least from, from what DICE is saying now, yeah, this is just kind of like a, a cinematic event. Um, and Okay, so here we see gunfights. So there's two things worth pointing out here. First of all, these, these enemies that you're attacking, um, there's a finite set of enemies here, and what DICE wants to do with, with AI uh, in this game is to just you know, make the enemies smarter although that guy wasn't being very smart by hiding there, but, <laughs> but make the enemies smarter and give you a challenge through their intelligence instead of just by throwing a lot of enemies at you. Very cool. Um, and during the course of this firefight, you will you get hit a few times. Yeah, there we go. So we can see the, the damage indicators on screen there. Mm -hmm. uh, what we don't know much about is how the actual health system works. Uh, Dice didn't want to say that yet. It, it sounds like they're taking it seriously, so they want to put something in that that again feels realistic because that seems, I mean, you can even, like the debris flying off the building there as it's getting shot, like while you're crouching. Like, again, just tons of detail. Um, and then if we can just stop right here, like just the, the interface itself, I just wanted to point out, like DICE is making, uh, is, is trying to give it a, a more minimalist kind of appearance. So you can see, you know, the, the ammo, the compass in the bottom left, the objectives only pop up when they're necessary, so mm -hmm. it's not like you'll have like big UI all over the place all the time. Like it's the emphasis is definitely like on the on-screen action, which obviously is fairly pretty. So I mean, you're about to get hit by a rocket coming up here, which you know is bad. Um, <laughs> but what we don't see here is if you were to take aim at those uh, those different stories of that building, like at the the siding there that the enemies are taking cover behind, you could chip away at that cover with the bullets. And yeah, that that pretty much ends the this portion of the demo. I know from, from things I've seen, you know, there'll be much more sort of explosive uh, elements uh, in, in future versions, which as it says right there is, uh, what, March 16th, I believe it was? March 16th. Yeah. Incredible, man. So March 16th, we'll be bringing you guys another Rewind Theater for the next batch of uh, Battlefield 3 footage. And uh, awesome information, Charles. I can't wait till then.